Hi! So I just got back from a weekend trip to Jindo with a couple of my friends. Jindo is a small island of South Korea and we were there for the sea parting festival. This time of year, the tide goes low enough for about an hour or so where you can cross through the parted sea and get to another island called Modo. So just think of it as a smaller scale of Moses and the Red Sea. And it's pretty awesome. There's actually a quite interesting legend behind this natural phenomenon. So there's a story of tigers invading the villages in Jindo and the villagers fled to Modo. This led them to somehow accidentally leaving their grandmother behind, uh, which is really really sad. But she prayed to the dragon god and he told her in a dream that a rainbow road would appear for her to get to her family. The next day, the sea had parted and there was a rainbow shaped road for her to get to her family and they reunited in the middle as she passed away in their arms. Which is sad but nice because she got to see her family but also really sad and messed up because her family left her behind. But anyway. So began our quest to walk into Moto. But as the saying goes, one does not simply walk into Moto. It took us three full attempts to get from Jindo to Moto actually because of various reasons that I will explain, but it gave us plenty of time to enjoy the festivities. So I hope you enjoy our journey into Moto and back again. Oh shit, you're, she's recording. I know. <laughs> you think I didn't know that? I didn't know that. Oh, oh, cool. <laughs> what, you playing that one? <laughs> the next Zoolander. I'm like, he's flat. Walking earlier, and now it's covered with water. Fishing for seaweed with a king.
booties. Mike has new booties. Fabulous new booties. What was wrong with your booties yesterday? They were too tight. Way too small. They're way too small because they fit me. So, you know. You know, like sometimes your booties are tight, sometimes they're loose. You just gotta roll with the booty punches, you know? So deep, man. I can see Modo. Mordor. Yeah, that's a Tower of Sauron. Which one? Big one. So, apparently, the tide is coming in, so we need to walk faster. Are you ready? Ow! We're almost there! Ow! <laughs> I get a picture of this purdiness. Show it to my mommy. How do your feet feel? They really hurt. I've stood in so many rocks. All right, we gotta turn back because the tide's coming in. Where's Michael? Michael, yeah. how do you feel? Feels great. Let's go. How do your feet feel? Fine. They're uh, cushy. Ew. Hi. Hi. He's trying to get to Modo. He's not gonna make it. Oh, he fell over. Aww. You realize by now, surely. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> you made it back to Jindo. Woo! I'm gonna wash my booties off in this little pool before I go up. Ah, uh, booties. Ah, uh, booties. 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 Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Wash your booties. Wash your booties. Uh, it is five to six. Okay. 5.55 for our American audience. 5.55. We're gonna do it. We're going again one last time. So, we're on the last part. There's seaweed and sharp rocks everywhere. Looking out to sea, waiting for the grandma that they left behind. Cause they're dicks. They just left their grandma behind. An island full of tigers. 